and let us all that we can to build a better future. So nothing says political instability and 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 madness than this current administration. But, you know, sometimes I look at my live stream chat and I see it sometimes brought up. Hey, we're probably living in a simulation. And I know people like Elon Musk have brought it up. We could be in a simulation. And I, even I've had conversations with some of my friends at parties and events. Hey, you think we're living in a simulation? You think it's like the Sims? All this kind of crazy stuff. And look, we've all seen our fair share of movies and video games and comic books that kind of like maybe this is all an alternate reality. Maybe everything's going crazy. Well, I don't know. I, I think I think I think now I think now it's it's it is it is it is truly happening. So first. I just want to bring up this tweet here first. It's not from a politician. It's not from some big time CEO or country or anything else. It's from our good friend, Elmo. <laughs> so, wow. Elmo is glad he asked. Elmo learned that he is important to ask a friend how they are doing. Elmo will check back in soon, friends. Elmo loves you. Okay, Elmo. Thank you. Emo hashtag emotional well-being. So, you know, hey, hey, every, every, it's, it's, it's important. It's important that we have, you know, mental health days for ourselves to take care of ourselves. We're all going through a lot of stress. And look, look at that face, Elmo, right? Thank you. All right. Let's, this, this is OK to me. Right. But then we have the president of the United States here. Now, folks, I, I, I do read the comments. I do check out the live stream chat and I hear all your stories. And right now, the number one issue impacting all Americans is the economy. I know hard day. Uh, I know how hard it is some days to sweep the clouds away and get sunnier days. Geez, Biden, you think under your administration, you think under your administration where there's an economic inflation, economic instability, political corruption, political ineptitude, we have ongoing wars. Americans starving in their own streets, homelessness on the rise, renters can't even afford the rent, small businesses being shut down, crumbling infrastructure, contaminants in our soil, air, and water. Yeah, I know how hard it is some days to sweep the clouds away to get the sunnier days. Yeah, tell that to the people of East Palestine, Ohio, Biden. Tell that to the people of Lahaina, Biden. One time, $700 payment. Don't spend those seven Benjamins all in one spot, people of Lahaina. Our friend Elmo is right. That's right, Elmo. We have to be there for each other, offer our help to a neighbor in need, and above all else, ask for help when we need it. Even though it's hard, you're never alone. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States tweeting out, quote tweeting, Elmo. 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 So let's talk about just how crazy things are right now, because there's a lot of things that the Biden Harris administration have to account for. For example, you know, let's talk about the economy here. Shout out to case study QB who's wrongly being censored. Let's play this video. It remains relatively strong, no doubt. But over the course of the last several months, we've seen more and more layoff announcements most recently from companies like shipping giant UPS, tech companies like Google, parent company Alphabet, payments company PayPal. In today's day and age, though, workers who are affected by job cuts are turning more and more to social media platforms to share their stories. Now, it used to be that losing one's job was something you kept private or was even possibly the source of shame or embarrassment. At this point, it might be a badge of honor. Hey, I lost my job. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a rarity like ah you're going to work it's, it's like that scene from elysium you know the starting matt damon in it where he's going to work and and everybody's laughing at him because he's going to a job while everyone else is broke <laughs> oh i remember when i was a kid and we were we were told that there were bright days ahead of us oh man talk about getting scammed but that paradigm has somewhat changed and many workers, especially younger ones, are ready and willing to share their pain and sometimes anger with the world on social media. And speaking of those workplace dynamics, for as much talk as there was about work from home and hybrid work during the wake of the mm -hmm. COVID pandemic, there are a growing number of companies who are now pushing for workers to come to the office 
at least three days a week. And in some cases, some that are pushing for full-time return to office five days a week. Companies like UPS, also banking giant JP Morgan Chase, aerospace giant Boeing, are among some of those companies who are requiring certain employees and management teams be back at the office full time. You put that alongside companies like IBM, which earlier this week told its managers that they either come into office three days a week or risk losing their jobs or getting fired. They also said that remote workers who live more than 50 miles away from an office have until this summer to relocate closer to those offices. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh God. I look, here's the thing. It's like, hey, you better find a place close to work or else, but I can't afford it. Then you'll be fired. But I have nowhere else to go. I need this job. I could wake up early. No, you move closer. But I won't have enough food to eat. You could eat off the land. Learn survival instincts. Build a bow and arrow and hunt the game. But I like feeding the cute squirrels. The squirrels are protein. You work for the company or else. That's Joe Biden telling you also, by the way, under his administration, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. But hey, Elmo saying it's it's important for mental health and Biden saying those those cloudy days will pass away. Hey, just for good times. And everyone, you can answer this question in any which way. But how's the economy under the Biden-Harris administration treating you? Type one for... Oh, geez, Kit. It's, it's treating me great. It's swimmingly well. It's so beautiful. It's great. Type 2, Jesus Christ, dude. This freaking question again? Look, I don't know how I'm going to make it past tomorrow, but you better quit asking this goddamn question. It's terrible. You know the answer is terrible. You know it. This is unless they have an exemption for medical reasons or military service. So this whole paradigm for work, for mm -hmm. as much as we talked about it, is still definitely, guys, in a huge state of flux. Yeah, it really is. Hey, look, and it's morning blow. <laughs> Mika, blink twice if you need help. That's, that's uh, five days. Okay, CNBC's dumb too. Thank you very much. I don't know. I think hybrid's the future, right? No? I mean, the, the French I mean, think so. Yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, I think there's... These these are people. These are people who live in an ivory tower talking about all of us. These are people who live comfortably well. There's certainly a movement. It's hard to ask workers, it feels like right now, to come back to an office five days a week. But I do think there'll be an insistence of at least three or four. So take a Friday, take a Monday. Yeah. Depends on, of course, there'll be flexibility depending on the industry. Some jobs will need all five, but others, it's going to be hard to get workers to agree to it. It, de it does depend on the industry. I would agree with you. It also depends on how many employees we're talking about. For instance, take the big banks, take yeah. you know, JP, JP Morgan. Yeah. Uh, they're going to insist on five days a week because of culture, internal culture. It's, it's, when you're shaking your head, I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> You know, they're going to quit laughing. And look, this this guy right here. I paused it perfectly. Thank goodness. He's looking at the camera like, yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. They're going to say, you got to come here? to work. You got to come to work. You got to know the person sitting next to you. You yeah. got to have coffee with them. You got to have lunch with them. You've got to get to know them and know what they do. So they know what you do. That's happening now. Right. Millennials are going to vote with their feet. I mean, they're just not They're going to be unemployed millennials. But you know what? It, isn't there a middle ground to this? Yes. There I'm is. Walking. I mean, come on. Like, it, especially for women yeah. or for families. Yeah. I include men uh, in this. Yeah. That in you know, it's important to go in and connect and make connections and build connections. Listen, 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 listen. All right. Somebody who's worked at office jobs, worked at retail, you know, worked in the kitchens. And yes, served in the Marine Corps, right? It's important to know your coworkers, but sometimes you're going to run into people you just don't want to talk about. I, I love it. I love it how these ivory tower people are just like, yeah, y'all got to get to know each other again, but maybe the hybrid's the future. Jeez Louise, how is this all happening? It's happening under an administration that doesn't give a damn about us. And work together and collaborate. But now that we know that it can be done from home in, in dire circumstances like a COVID pandemic, uh, I don't understand why one or two days or once in a while working from home isn't is a problem. I think it's great. I mean, so much. Yeah, yeah, it's it's great because guess what? The media, you guys can do that, okay? I'll never forget. Hey, don't forget your old pal from CNN, Jeffrey Tubin. Hmm? So much of it depends on Lauren 
what the job is, what the job sure. entails. There's some places where, especially for younger younger workers, they need to be they need in, to interact. Like, we, you know, you look at Mike uh, growing up in, in in journalism. You know, when you're young, you you need to be in the newsroom. You can't be in your apartment five days a week. You're not going to get the same thing with lawyers. You got to be able to walk next door. So it's it's dependent. I would think in some more creative spaces. Yeah. Yeah. Gee, it would have been nice if, you know, maybe the entire system was able to be more creative, offer more innovation instead of this rigid puritanical system that we're in. All right. Now, look, I get it. Hey, we all got to go to work. I I. Want to do so much more. Geez, wouldn't it have been great if YouTube didn't give us that shadow ban in 2020? Because Hard Lens Media would have looked a hell of a lot different. You know? This this entire system is also impacting small business owners as well. I, I like how you're focusing on the big corporations. But what about the things that really get things done? I mean, those big corporations right now are putting their jackboot on small businesses. But, I, hey, I guess corporate media doesn't want to talk about them, huh? <laughs> Work, work where you do your best work. Totally, but it's definitely exacerbating this sort of like culture clash between younger workers and older workers, which has been there all along. I mean, if you're going to the office and you're spending all day on Zoom calls anyway, it's pretty hard to justify where you're forcing people to commute. And you know that having people move back to high cost areas, that's going to be a real problem. We have a labor shortage. So I think there is a kind of- But I thought the economy's doing great. Jeez, corporate media. What is it? The economy's recovering great and Americans are spending more? Or, oh, no, everything's too expensive, and what do you expect workers to do? We have a labor shortage. Which one is it? You're talking on both sides of your mouth, and your wazoo speaking at the same time. Culture clash, especially mm -hmm. in financial services, which, you know, is... Want to acknowledge this YouTube Super Chat. Thank you so much for the donation. Elite's taking a hit in their commercial real estate portfolios, and we can't have that. We can't have that, folks. Can't have that indeed. Can't have that at all. Come on much less appealing to young people than it used to be. Kids coming out of even the top business schools, they're not going to the big banks. They're going to Silicon Valley. They're going to start businesses. So let's see how this plays out. They'd love to have them there five days. I think that we're never going back to that in certain industries. I, uh, I tend to agree. Okay, thank you, Mika, for your input. But look, let's, 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 let's go back to how this all started, right? Because cloudy days can disappear. I know how hard it is some days to sweep the clouds away and get sunnier days. Our friend Elmo is right. We have to be there for each other, offer our help to a neighbor in need, and above all else, ask for help when needed. Even though it's hard, you're never alone. So when the corporations are putting their jackboot on us, and the corporations are kicking us up the wazoo, and the corporations are beating our teeth in, uh, you know, when we're asking, hey, could, could we get an increase in wages? Hey, could you, could you, could you like, you know, meet us in the middle ground here? So we're, you know, why, why, why are you telling me I have to move to a high-cost location, you know? I mean, it would be great, but hey, don't worry. The Biden administration's got plenty of money for war, bailing out banks and corporations, and screwing you, the American people, over. But those, those, those clouds will go away. Sunny days are going to be happening, right, Elmo? Look at that. There's, there's Elmo's face to cheer you up. And hey, e even Biden will ask for help. Especially, you know, just got to bring this up, the crisis at the border. Biden starts yelling after taking a question about the border. I've done all I could do. Just give me the power. Give me the border patrol. Give me the people, the judges. Give me the people who could stop this. So even Biden's asking for help. He's asking for the suckers to vote for him. Here, here, here watch old man yell at the clouds. Have you done with executive authority, or is there more you could do? Absence of not all I can do. Just give me the power. I've asked for the very day I got in office. Give me the border patrol. Give me the people. Give me the people, the judges. Give me the people who can stop this and make it work for us. There you go. But aren't you the president? Don't you, you know, controversial statement in a three, two, one. Don't you have the power already? Aren't you like the commander in chief? I mean, you're already issuing wars and bypassing Congress like good old George Bush Jr. Right? I mean, you could, you could in theory do things in theory. I mean, this is the same Biden who's told people like, oh, the, the White House counselor or not the White House counselor, uh, uh, the, the, the parliamentarian in the Senate. Did a, did a, did a, you know, got got the two titles mixed up, you know, the parliamentarian, you know, that they have to go through that person, a non-elected official. 
that's appointed by the president and vice president. And by the way, the president and vice president are the Senate parliamentarians boss. So yeah, don't worry folks. Those cloudy days will clear up. What could possibly go wrong? Are we living in a simulation? Is everything going crazy? Or is this how the world always has been? Type three, four. Kit, I believe that this is a simulation and someday someone's going to hit that reset button and the program will be back to normal. Type four, no. This, this is the wake up to reality. This is the world. And it's always been this crazy. Type, type, type in the comment section below.